Now we're gonna together go from start to finish in making a data collection sheet that you can use for your day-to-day -day gold making ideas. So you wouldn't use something like that for your uh, farming necessities or whatever. This is purely to hold data about containers, about salvageables, stuff like that. So we go onto your browser of choice. Then we go to Data Wars 2, which is the best website. There we can go to the documentation. We want to do item CSV. There you go. That's the URL for Silver's API right there. And the first thing we should do actually is keys. Why do we want to do keys first? Because the keys are going to tell us what we can ask of the API. You know, I'm going to use very basic terms to explain this to anyone who hasn't done any Excel in their lives. We are going to first look at the keys that are available on the API so that we know what we can ask for. So then what you do is you just go into data. You're going to want to do a from web. You put down the URL for the keys. You say, okay. Then it's going to show you the keys, like that. These are all the keys that we can use. Okay, all right. We're going to go make that into a table. There we go. Uh, I actually hate that. It didn't... Did it not... It should ask me... It doesn't ask me to use... Okay, I guess it just doesn't. We just go in like this. Okay. Well then, close and load. Actually, we can rename the column one. We're going to call that keys. There we go. Close and load. So this is our first query. 173 rows telling us what we can ask for on SilverS's API. We want ID, account bound. We want, as I said... Uh, last update, level, name, rarity, type, vendor value, weapon type, first added. We want uh, one day by price average, we want one day by sold. We want uh, what is sell price average, sell sold. We're going to do the same for the weekly, or do we want to do the same for the weekly? We don't actually need to do it for the weekly. We're going to do sell price, sell quantity, buy price, buy quantity, uh, upgrade one, wait. And I think that's like good to go. Because this is going to take ages otherwise and we want the video to go fast. So. We organize the way we want our columns to be. So we're going to do ID, name, uh, type, level, rarity, maybe first added, first added before type. Excuse me? There we go. Uh, last update, we're gonna put it uh, at the end of our series there. Account bound, yes, no, we kind of want to have that there. Vendor value, that's good. Uh, actually, weight and weapon type, we should have these. We should have these right after type, to be honest. Okay, so that's good. Then we want last update to be before our one day info. We're just gonna do buy, tech, 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 tech. We want that to be right there. A grade one should be. Level worthy. Should be right there.
Then we're gonna do like this. So we have that started out. Same trick as earlier. Drag that all the way down. And you've just saved yourself a lot of time. So we're gonna take that, put it in our notepad. We grab that. Okay, actually we just grab that. Paste. And there we go. That's all we need. We're gonna do our import again. So data from web. First we paste the API. No, I pressed OK too early. Cancel. We go at it again. Paste it. Question mark. Fields equal. We pick all of that. Add it at the end in the correct order. So see, as as I said, we have them in the order we wanted. So now we just transform some stuff. We're just gonna prove that I date as date without time. Can I date without time? Thank you. Like actually, date time. That's kind of okay though. And we're we're gonna keep that as date time. It's the same here. The numbers are as numbers. Everything else is as everything else. Close and load. We're gonna call that TP because that's our TP information. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna fix the errors. So we know that all the errors are in um, this column. Uh, list might be incomplete. Load more. I'd like to actually see one of the errors, but probably doesn't have any right there. Uh, replace errors. We're gonna replace them by zeros. That should actually fix the errors we have. Should. There we go. No more errors. The reason why we had errors is basically there is no sell price. So the API is trying to um, average non-existent values and that creates an error. I think that's it. We're going to do exactly what we did before. Text to columns. Finish. Quantity, blah, blah, blah. So right there, what we're going to do is we take both files at the same time. See? Easy peasy. We don't need that over there. So what are the quantities? What we're going to do is we're going to do a VLOOKUP. Look for that. Refer it in this file. Three false. Get the amounts. Good. Paste value. Close this forever. Back to full screen. Okay, so on the first opening, we opened 181 bags, got 233 drops. So some items dropped twice or more. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly the same formula right there. And see, we have the total return right there, right? So we're going to do... equals subtotal. Very nice formula. You select what you want to do. I want to do a sum. Grab it from... Oh, Jesus. I want it to go from here to here. Yes. And... That's it. So this, I want this to be in bold as well, so that we have a look at it. Actually, I should take that formula. It's over there, that would be much better. Okay, good. So here, we have the information that we need, and then we can just do more opening. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna be mad clever about the formula. Equals index. We're gonna go... Here, yep, we're gonna do equiv, or actually it's match in English, equiv is the French one. We're gonna do match, we're gonna pick, uh, the lookup value is gonna be max
There we go. So here, what did I do? I did something that is kind of interesting overall. We have determined, with this formula, we have determined what is the main driving item inside of this uh, drop rate. So basically, the item that brings the most value is the vial of powerful blood. That's the one item that brings the most value in the drops, right? We have an item that's worth more. The silver doubloon is worth more individually, but you only got one in 181 tries. Whereas you got four vials of powerful blood in 181 tries. Which makes the vial of powerful blood much, much more important to the average value of the drops right there. Jesus, like, I'm, I'm trying to make this a little bit more readable as I as I do stuff right there. Yeah, this, this is a little bit more readable. I think I should actually just go all the way. I'm just gonna add a little bit more borders to make this more enjoyable this is gonna be good as well because like patrons are gonna get the sheet once i'm done with it so that's a good thing to work with okay this this is not too bad this is not looking too bad i think then as a split right there as well actually you know what i don't need to because gonna hide that okay good looking like this is kind of okay um so the the one item that's giving us the best like the best value is the vial of our full blood we got four in 181 the average chance is 2.2 percent i am not that confident in my uh, in my data need that to be as low as possible and this tells you how many bags you need to go through before you get one basically so this is a loss in both cases but it's interesting to check it out nonetheless and then you basically want to do for the roi equals this on that you can add that and this is a percentage and this you want to do profit sell on cost sell there you go you have all the information that is needed to we can unbold on that to work with in your main file so in the containers here we're gonna do exactly the same we have id we have name we're gonna do exactly the same there we're gonna do number open cost by cost sell blah 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 containers do exactly the same and then on this we do um B B2 mm. Exclamation mark Indirect allows you to basically pick a value somewhere in the file provided you give the um, the cell reference so right now we're gonna put the cell reference we're gonna go b2 and we're gonna close it and it gives us 181 then we just need to drag that to the right all the way to the right there is gonna be instead of b2 it's gonna be c2 then it's gonna be d2 and it's gonna be E2, etc., etc., F2. We're gonna do G2. We're gonna do H2. Shit. Do H2. There we go. So this one is a number. These ones are gold values. The last two are percentages. So we're gonna reflect that. And these last two are percentages. And we just clean that up. And there you have it. A spreadsheet that allows you to know, well, basically how many of one bag you have opened. Hello, Mary. 
Yeah, that's the the AUD OST is it's golden. It's pure bangers. Um, so yeah, there you have it. A spreadsheet that lets you know what a certain bag is worth at any given time. So that's the values right now that we worked on getting out there. Basically, if you refresh your data, all the values are gonna move just a little bit, not by too much. So running the background queries. See, we got like a three silver difference. It's really nothing much, but so be it. So yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it.